Hello guys and gals and welcome back. I am Wasero and thank you for joining me. We are continuing with Europa Unisalus 4 as the mighty Byzantines. Last time we took some promises from Hungary, these two, and we also defeated the Ottoman. We took Kanik, Amasia, Sultanau, Kothaya, and the last of their European provinces. So, this time we will. Uh, I didn't notice this in the last one, but Moldavia formed. So, if we are in a hurry and claim Bessarabia, we can pull that up off. So, we'll do that right away. Can we increase by hostile trading? Maybe. Nope. Okay then. Maybe if we move there. Yeah, let's try. Where is our current dude? Let's go to Crimea. Uh, transfer. Ragusa. Hopefully I remember to set on hostile trading. Now, the autonomy. Really need to get that underway. So, decrease where we can. Increase rather. And there. Yeah, sure, why not. Good. There we are. Now, who do we want to core? We want to core Plodiv. These two. I'm gonna call Kanek. And these four shall wait. Estates though. Can we do something with them? No, we shall look at it later. Oh, corruption. That's a pretty hefty sum there. So, 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 spy network, no, discipline. I mean, we are going back a few ducats a month, but we shall repay that loan. Good, some less interest. Shall we do that? Yeah, we shall do that. Get some better trade income. No need for that. Can we? Uh, nope. Not yet at least. And we have pretty good generals. Let's do that actually. Good. A bit better cavalry combat builder. And shall we tech up while we're at it? I think we do, so let's do that. Another group of ideas, nice. We have put aristocratic ideas as our first idea. And we have noble knights and military traditions. We'll be able to do local nobility soon. We want influence to get diplomatic influence plus two reputation. That's really nice because that's really hurting us when we are integrating Wallachia. Negative one, we at least need plus one to get that to progress. So that's not really good. It will take a while, but no matter, we shall do it. We'll pick it later when we can, actually. Ford to not pick admin technology. No, what did I think? Uh, we are doing that good. We also want to co check the coalition screen. 
we are up to date with you. Let's improve with them. Yeah, let's improve with them too. Austria away. Also, don't forget hostile trading. Since you are not using the inland routes anymore, so let's just yeah improve relations. Then we'll put it on maximize profits when we are able. We have two heavies. Where are the rebels coming from? Amasia, Sultanae. That's right. We can... Do we need a military access? I do not know. But release Amasia. No, not Amasia. A retina. <laughs> Good. So now we can give a retina loads. We shall see. Yeah, this. And we can keep on giving them if we want to expand with them. So that's a really nice thing. Because taking lands forever is just wrecking out the coalition to the extremes. And that's not good because we are not... I don't think we are able to beat the Mammoths just yet. So it's a good thing to divert the aggressive expansion a bit. Now the rebels. Let's see. Huda Vendegar, Kanex, Sultano. Yeah. I forgot to apply the missionary strength in Huda Vendegar state. We have it in Aideen. So now that should probably keep on. Yeah, 07. We have too many. Let's buy down that uh, Ottoman then. Yeah. 88. Thanks, that good. Now, go back. Okay, so they did it for us. We don't have to do it. Good. Can the. Uh, we want to convert him actually. 35. Yeah, let's do it. Now they should be no problems. Come back. And they are rebellious, so no need to worry, I think. Okay, so they immediately dropped that royal marriage. <laughs> Influence nation, we can do that. Place refugee from Karasi. 
Okay. Candor wants access. And uh, I was hoping that Mamluks would enforce break alliance with the Ma no Muscovy would break the alliance the Candor has with the Mamluks, but nope. Too bad. Let's improve with you then. We can't do anything else, right? Send a gift, we could. 60 month, is that worth it? Sure, why not? And uh, keep improving. Malachia, yeah, sure. Candor wants access, why? Let's do that actually, so we can get some good more relations. Let's also improve now. situation good is there anything else we can don't have any loans we can keep him and keep admin how many mercenaries do we have four let's how many boats can we have actually? 35. Let's do the mothball. And let's take away two mercs. Or should we take away them all, actually? Let's do all of them, so we can... No. So there you go. Okay. Let's move that one. So what? Oh no, we lost the great general. That's not good. How much tradition do we have? 
81, oh damn it. Yeah, it was the greatest as well. Oh, it was the man. Can we not level put him over? That's Grant actually. Um, oh yeah, we got Niketas, Cocadenos. Now let's take away one from the nobility. That's good. Do like that. I should be getting quite many rockets. Can also pick away the forge so we don't have to pay for them. And let's make sure we have an army ready. All the cogs. Embark. And go forward. got an heir to the throne, Alexios. Okay, good. It's a 135, that's not super. Demetrius, let's do that. But at least we won't die with an, without an heir, that's good. Attack. The Reformation branches off. The Protestant Reformation is spreading like wildfire across Europe. Several different movements have already formed, proposing alternate ways of reforming the Christian faith. A devout preacher in Akers who has become the principal figure for a so-called reform school of thought, stressing the complete ruin of humanity's ethical nature. Only with the divine intervention of God can humanity find salvation, turning from rebellion to willing obedience. Reform is now enabled. Okay, so Danes got the Protestant and now the Norwegians got the Reformed. Isn't that quite odd? <laughs> well, so long they don't spawn near me with a Reformation Center, I'm happy. There was one who got a reformation in Croatia and they just sabotaged the whole run from him. So that's quite bad. So hopefully nothing like that happens here. Come on, next one. There you go. They don't have an uh, alliance. Good. Let's go back, hopefully for not any more days. Let's see, they are no alliance, nice. So declare war, take Bessarabia, confirm. We go to war. Might as well take Georgios. Yeah. It is 11, we have 19, nice. So like that, we go back there. And let's go and siege. 
Well, okay, you can join me if you want to. Now, what shall we do with this? Can we improve with Caraman? No, it's maxed out. Can we improve with you? Yes, let's do that. Mothball, take away the forge. Don't pay any uh, money for you. There we go. I can take away that one as well. It's a stack wipe, glorious. We need this. Do we need only one? Was it the uh, mothball? It was. Oh, okay, we'll take it this time. Good, nice. Okay, there's their capital, so we'll need more for that. Stay there then, and we'll take. You? No. You. There. A free fort. Nice. The rest can stay behind. It's a quick and easy war. I love those. Now, Retna, I would like you to be loyal. Can also unmaintenance that one. Oh man, seven ducats a month. Nice. Now, which one do we prefer when it comes to getting sweet money? I think Crimea is the best one, actually. So, maximize, maybe? Yeah, maximize. And as well as Constantinople. Gain even more money. 7.26, yeah. Okay, it shifted to whole ducats. I wonder why. Nope, I keep losing. Is it because we are reinforcing, maybe? Death or merchant. Yellow prestige, we don't need that. No. So again, 68 ducats, perfect. Some estate modifiers going out. course recall royal marriage with everyone nice who wants to be friendly let's keep on improving with Talkara and the siege is over. Let's see what we can get. That would be too much. <laughs> well, we want the Bessarabian to get the Danube estuary. And all their money. That's the most important thing. And now... No, it will cost us Diplo points, so... 
Let's do that. I gain some prestige. War reps, all your money. Should we do a steer trade actually? Can we do that even? I think that's the most efficient way to steer trade instead of transfer trade power. Right. I don't know. Are we getting any modifiers for that? Let's look at the marketplace. Transfer from Crimea. I don't know. <laughs> But yeah, let's do that and just take that one to get something. And we're happy with that. Good, let's keep that fort. It's a good northern frontier. And autonomy is already good. So, make it a core. And you might as well stay there. Heavy unrest in that province. And keep on swinging. Okay, the Church of England. And they founded Anglican is now enabled. New state religion of England. Okay, that's the news with the Rule Britannia DLC. So they will be in religious turmoil for quite some while. Only two. Well, that's cool. <laughs> First game when playing the Rule Britannia DLC and England takes the new religious. Good. Corruption is growing. We can invest in a new idea. 505. It's still quite many years from now, so let's do that. And our first idea. Regulations for mercenaries. We may not like them and we may not want to use them, but when a need arises, we may be forced to resort to mercenaries. If we lay down standards for what mercenaries should bring, we will be able to recruit them quicker and thus cheaper. Negative 25% for hiring them. That's good. That is good. Yeah. <laughs> I thought so. So, Norway, well, they are really gonna have a problem for quite some time. As well as Denmark. Let's be a church in Constantinople. Can we build somewhere else? Get some good extra money. No, well, at there, and we could do that. Let's do it, earn.
Our truce with Hungary is up. So what we could do is see what is left of 30. Well, as you see, Hungary is no more. Bosnia has took some, Bohemia, now Serbia for the second time. We really need to bring Serbia to the knees. And we can do that now, now we have control over releasing Croatia. But yeah, we, when the 30 mark is up and we are not involved in a war or something like that, we might as well call it an episode, don't you think guys? So next time we'll figure out who we shall attack next. So I want to thank you all for watching, I am Wazero and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to support me by giving a like, comment, share and subscribe along with clicking the notification bell to get all the latest videos. Thank you so much for watching and I really appreciate it. I am Wazero and I'll see you next time.